I don't think I ever made a, a conscious decision to want to be an adventurer. I just picked up an atlas one day and, and decided that I was going to cross an ocean. I've always enjoyed the wilderness, and the ocean is kind of the ultimate wilderness. I didn't have much interest in reading a book about sailing that reads like VCR instructions, you know, so I figured I'll just go out and raise the sails and figure it out. But I've always been self-taught with everything pretty much in my life, which is kind of normal for me. We were sitting down in his boat, maybe a little Jameson was going around and uh, told me how he wanted to sail around North and South America and go through the Northwest Passage by himself. Matt was always very stubbornly independent. Uh, he liked doing things best if he did it himself. And just difficult to uh, understand from the time, I would say that he was three or four years old even. He went through a period where he decided that all he was gonna wear was boots, rubber boots. And that's all we'd wear. He wouldn't wear anything else, in the house or out of the house. He was offended if he had to order off the children's menu. He gets up in the middle of the restaurant, stands up on the booth, and shouts out to the entire restaurant, I am a man. Welcome to the land of ice and snow. You have got to get some sleep. You've got to navigate. You've got to eat. Uh, when you're a solo sailor, you're a mechanic. You're the navigator. You're everything. I just, everything is always wet. And when it's this kind of weather, this boat leaks like a sieve. This boat leaks terribly. And a big old wave came, damn near swept me off my feet. I had to grab onto my backstay. Damn it. The Northwest Passage is not a place to be by yourself. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? When Matt Rutherford took off, I thought he was a crazy man. I absolutely thought he was bonkers. I thought he was batshit crazy. And I've got icebergs all around me right now. I can see an iceberg right out this window. I got another iceberg off my bow about a half mile. I'm heading right at it right now. <laughs> you realize before you leave that you might die. You know, you realize that you might not come back when you leave the dock, and you accept that. If you die doing what you love, it's not a tragedy.